George Santos is just in his like his villain era. You can say his it. villain era. You're right, it's, right. It's never it's never been more apt. It, he's he's just a troll now, and he's loving his life. I mean, you could just see how he's basking in the attention. He signs off on this with a kissy face, okay? And this is him mocking the fact that the Mayorkas impeachment, led by the Republican Party, failed very narrowly, in part because um, they were a vote or two short of what they needed, and they had three... Uh, Republican defections. Eventually, there was a fourth one because that Republican voted to break the tie. When you vote to get it to fail procedurally, that means that they can get a second bite at the apple. I'm really channeling Sam here um, to impeach <laughs> Mayorkas. Now, um, this is how Santos responded. Like he was at Trump's New Hampshire election victory party. He's really just loving being the center of attention before he gets sent to prison for presumably like a good amount of time. There's a lot of evidence about the charges leveled against him. Here he is on social media taking a, uh, a victory lap saying he should have never quit me. Hey America, George Santos here. Tonight, I am telling you, Mallorca's was not held accountable thanks to Nick LaLota, Anthony D'Esposito, Mike Lawler, and Rep Garbarino along with Michael Guest due to their obsession about silencing me and the voters of the 3rd District of New York. Now, America has shown its shadow and we are stuck with Mallorca's for six more weeks thanks to the insipid idiots in Congress, in the GOP. Good <laughs> luck, guys. Way to go. Way to show the American people you can accomplish something. But I hope you're happy you expelled me. Mwah. Bye. Mm. Mwah. Mwah. Um, that's pretty great. Uh, he. The, when is the election for New York's third district to replace him? Next. Next week. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Yeah. So he's going to be. Uh, it'll be determined if it's Swazi who is a conservative Democrat or um, not Mozzie Smith, not the defensive tackle. What's her last name? Mozzie Pillip. Mozzie Pillip, who is in someone of Ethiopian descent, whose only public positions to this point are just pro-Israel. Israel plant. Isra I mean, like, if any candidate screams, like, intelligence <laughs> asset, it's this person. So we will see. But um, she immigrated to Israel in 1991 as a refugee when she was 12 years old from Ethiopia. And okay. then upon turning 18 years of age, she sure she served in the IDF's paratroopers brigade as a gunsmith mm -hmm. per her Wikipedia page. Yep. Interesting. Now to come represent Israel in the American government. I, uh, I, it, it is uh, true that they did pay the price for expelling George Santos, they were unable to impeach Mayorkas, but... It'll Shame that George can't fully do the um, heel turn and say, yeah, their border shit's all lies for uh, the purposes of campaigning, and has to be like, well, actually, this is all real, and you should, you know, I mean, this is why, like, I think there's a shelf life on Santos. I don't want to oh, yeah. be, I think they were, see, we're in, like, maybe the final months of <laughs> anybody knowing who he is, even for the purposes of trivia. I mean, there's, it's, it, the shelf life is, is quite like well established because he's going to go to prison probably but he he's living the life he always wanted i mean he always wanted to uh, have a resurgence when that uh that uh mugshot comes out that's for sure oh yeah yeah and he i guarantee you now he's gonna be selling merch on that front and whenever the movies come out of his whenever the live action either documentaries or narrative dramas come out of his life based off that book that was written about him the fabulous or whatever that was called oh it was written i about wouldn't him. invest yeah. in that personally yeah. but he's i mean yeah people are people are not gonna want to no one's gonna give a shit yeah i think you're right I, i'm gonna watch that I, i'm gonna be honest i'm but sure I you will i mean Brad, I watch right. everything. yeah yeah no i'm i'm putting that on my little calendar i'm waiting for all of the the docu scans dramas do we know who's playing george santos yeah <laughs> i so i've heard people say that it should be guillermo or the actor who plays guillermo and what we do in the shadows uh <laughs> but i would actually put forth the actor who plays uh mateo on superstore i think that the character of mateo is very similar yes. to the character mm. of george santos santos may be more redeemable